Hi everyone, it's Heidi from flutterbyheidi.co.uk. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based in the United Kingdom and I'm bringing you one of my projects using the Dandy Garden Suite um, from the January to June Spring Catalogue. Absolutely gorgeous suite um, for those of you that love dragonflies. If you don't, there are still some super images and sentiments that you might find really useful. Um, and uh, this is the, it has two stamp sets in it. If you have a look on my YouTube, you'll find my sweet introduction um, video, which will show you the whole range. So I'm just going to focus on the items I'm using today, which is the Dragonfly Garden stamp set, which has these two dragonflies that coordinate with the dragonflies punch, this one here. Um, has this lovely uh, sprig of flowers and it has this stamp set of the wings which uh, infills the wings just in a very loose way um, and I'm using some of the paper now that on my sample I've actually punched one of the dragonflies from the DSP um, but you can in fact obviously get the similar effect by uh, stamping and punching and then colouring. This is the DSP and you've got in here 12 sheets um, each of four designs and they're all as usual double sided lovely um, dandelion images and dragonflies on them uh, and some lovely strong colours um, some of them are suitable for colouring and this one's some more abstract um, as you can see sort of foliage images um, little bee um, as well and some lovely colours like calypso coral and misty moonlight as you can see here, I love the Misty Moonlight designs, they're really pretty. Um, and then again, a couple of um, uh, different sizes of dragonflies on there as well. So that's the paper. Um, and the card I'm creating is just um, one of these with a pretty panel on the front here. And I've actually used um, the, the stamp from the Sweet Sampler host stamp set. So this is if you're putting together an order yourself of over £150. Um, you can choose this as one of the host rewards. Or if you're gathering together with friends and putting an order in, this is one of the rewards that you can get. And it has images that coordinate with other stamp sets in the January to June catalogue. Um, so I've used this image here on the inside of my card and also on my envelope as well and I often forget to show you how I decorate my envelopes but I just do a quick bit of um, simple stamping on that to coordinate. So the dragonfly itself I've actually done two so I've stamped and coloured the image below and this is a punched one but I'm going to um, stamp and colour both images and then I've used some stamping blends um, to colour in the, uh, the card as well. So I thought we'll start with that. So for the stamping, you want a panel, well, actually you want two panels. You want two panels of Whisper White, which are six by 14 centimetres, one for the front and one for the inside. And I'm just going to stamp that image in basic black. And I'm kind of doing it, um, if I sort of say full length, on the left hand edge and then ink it up again and sort of part way up on the right there. Okay, managed to get a bit of an ink splodge there so that'll be a opportunity for embellishment. So I think we might be finding one of our little uh, ladybirds, they call them ladybugs in America, they're not, they're ladybirds. There we go, I think I'll have a ladybird going on there. Okay, so there's that one, and then let's stamp our inner image. So I'm going to use the bumblebee um, cardstock, and, and again, the bumblebee ink, and just pop that on the top there. Mm, okay, yes, that's fine, because what I shall do is colour that in, and then take my envelope. and just add that as well. So next thing to do, as I said, I'm just going to, because I, I haven't really quite pressed firmly enough on there. Um, this is just a, some hints and tips really. So if you end up doing that and, and you just have not quite got it how you want it, 
use a blender pen and a little bit of ink and then I'm just going to just add a bit of colour into those wings that just helps like so adds a bit more detail and interest and just makes it look a little bit more kind of water coloured and you can add some sort of deeper lines as well like so okay so there's our inner image so I'm going to pop that to one side pop those to the envelope as well and then we're going to stamp our images on a, um, a couple of times on a scrap of Whisper White. Um, probably want something a little bit larger. So if you take again your basic black uh, memento ink and our image, and I'm using, there are two images. Um, there's one that's kind of got... Um, the best to it's kind of got a, it hasn't got a solid body down the middle and we've got this one that has so just stamp that really nicely into like so so you want two of those and the drag the dragonfly's punch punches out a little one as well which you can always color and add in afterwards so all I do is just line it up on the inside and the underneath of the punch if you struggle with dexterity at all and you don't have as much um, pressure in your hands, these punches are great because you can actually put them down and then use the whole flat of your hand to punch those. Um, so we've got a couple of lovely butterflies here. Butterflies. I keep calling them butterflies, going around a twist. Um, okay, I want my bumblebee. bumblebee. Just realised I used crushed curry on the other one. No wonder it wasn't looking quite the same. Oh well. They do work very well together, actually, crushed curry and bumblebee. So I'm just inking that up and reversing it. And you'll see, you really wouldn't know that that was shaped at all. So just stamp over the top. Those are our two dragonflies. And then memento should be nicely um, dry by now. So all I'm doing for the colourings, I'm doing some very kind of loose colouring. Um, so with the kind of with the uh, calypso coral, I'm not actually colouring the flowers as such. I'm just sort of dotting over it, kind of to give an impression of colour. And um, you'll see on this one. I've kind of coloured all of these ones that sort of a, um, they kind of remind me of chrysanthemums almost but you know when you look at flowers sometimes and you just sort of get a sort of a, an impression of colour and that's the sort of impression I wanted to to get with these didn't want to do anything too um, deep too detailed just of kind of colouring to get some, I say, just get a, an effect of the colour, as you can see there. And I'm going to do something similar using some light old olive here on the leaves. So it's just to show that you don't always have to do kind of actual colouring. You can, um, I say actual, you know, you don't have to stick to the lines. On the larger ones, I am going to come in and down the stems I'm just going to do a sort of a, a little line so again just sort of coming in adding in some colour where but not worrying about being massively uh, precise now the blends I'm using for this are actually sort of the mango melody which are uh, retiring so if you want those I should grab them now while you can um, they work really well those little sort of orangey sort of tones um, there are some new ones coming out 
Um, but if you like Mango Melody, now's the time to get it. Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to come in with the darkest of colour in the centre of those. And then just use this stuff. Fine tip. Just on all of those. You could um, keep them white if you wanted to, almost more daisy like, but I just wanted to kind of echo the colours in the DSP that we've got. Um, and then all I d I've done on this one is I've just taken a little bit of pool party and I've kind of gone around just with a a hint with my light pool party just to kind of give a, a background. Um, Just of coming in between those leaves as well. And you can come in and do some more detail if, if you want. You can see that just gives a just a very soft effect. And then you can come in and um, add a little bit more detail with the stems that come down. Yep. And say if you've spotted some leaves that you perhaps haven't added to that you want to. And so my dark mango melody just adding a little bit of detail on those bigger flowers, just like so. There we go. Right, so now um, if you want to soften that a bit more, then just use your colour lifter to add a little bit of blending. Um, so now let's create the card base for it. So you just need a standard card base. So I cut mine 29 by 10.5 centimetres and then line that up at 2 centimetres and cut from the middle um, down on the one side and on the top here. Just that you're cutting away those two panels um, and then just use your snips to take those away. So we've then got our panel. If you get any little bits, just there we go, snip line like so. Um, just coming from the edge once it's closed and then you can add your DSP or at least you could if you cut it um, correctly <laughs> so we want this about so 10 point narrow border probably 10.3 um, by 14.3 I'll just use one of the other pieces of paper from the dandy garden pack I'm just going to add that onto um, my card, a bit of uh, Tombow here, this is just a lovely overall kind of stylized dandelion head. So now we're ready to add our inner panel, so again just keeping this flat so the dimension on this card is created by that front panel and by our, um, our floating dandelion. So you're just lining that up with that front panel. And then um, this piece is a 6.2 by 14.2. So again, just slightly smaller, just a nice narrow border. And just uh, popping that onto our front. literally just a teeny tiny panel and then we're ready to add our whisper white coloured panel to the front and 
And then all that remains is to add our butterflies, but oh God, um, add our um, uh, dragonflies. Don't come all the way down onto the edge um, on the one. Um, this one's going to go on the top if I show you. So on this one, I'm just going lifting the wings and I'm adding that to the front there. Just lining that up. You've got those double wings and then I'm just going to add my glue to the, still just to the center on there so that we can add our dragonfly and then I wanted to add my ladybird to cover up my slight hiccup and these fit perfectly on with our glue dot so just pop a glue dot onto there and then there we have our card. So as you can see a pair of pretty Dandy Garden cards and envelopes ready for you to add a sentiment if you'd like. Easy to pop one on the top there or keep it um, sentiment free until you're ready to, to post it. So thanks for watching. Come back and see me again soon. Bye for now.